What's up my friends and the viewers of the tube? I get asked a lot, what projects do I invest in? Or what do I think is profitable? And 99% of the projects on in crypto are not, uh, in the long term, they're not profitable. They're not gonna be around. If we look at you know the projects that were around in 2017, 99% of them are not here. Um, because they just don't have any utility. You can look at the gaming industry, and I've talked about this in other videos, that the gaming industry for crypto could be profitable because it does provide utility, but I just don't think that that's the case either because a lot of the crypto games are like flash games or just shit. Um, not only that, but you're combining uh, tokenomics with gaming, and that's really hard to balance. Um, so there's that. Um, I was a big believer in Gala. I had three Gala nodes, made a lot of money, sold my Gala nodes when I thought that uh, it just wasn't sustainable. Um, why people are buying thousands of dollars for a NFT when the same thing is done with skins and, and Fortnite or um, mounts in World of Warcraft. I mean, the the gaming industry has been $59 for a game forever, and with microtransactions, you're spending you know $7 to $49 for a skin or a cosmetic or whatever, and are more profitable and easier to build than any crypto gaming uh, thing where you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars or thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars for uh, trash. And the thing is, you can say that, you know, the gaming assets are yours, but if a company goes bankrupt, those assets are literally zero. So it's the same thing as holding a skin or holding a, um, a knife for Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, uh, knife, um, most expensive. Well, I don't, maybe it wasn't Call of Duty. Yeah, most expensive knife right here. I think it went for a million dollars. Um, so these are like a couple hundreds, hundred thousands. Um, let's look for most expensive. Most expensive knife. I f right here, I think it was this one. Um, it went for like a million. This one goes for 8,000, 15,000, 20,000, 20,000. 20, 120,000 for skin, and this went for 2 million. So as you can see, I mean, can't see right now, but you can see now, 2 million for a skin. And if you think that you can't sell regular uh, games, uh, skins or NFT NFTs, then you're crazy because Web3 is much more, um, unsafe uh it's very um it requires people to actually the onboarding is insane and all sorts of other things so for me i i'm invested in businesses uh, i find that businesses have a higher return i can make much better cash flow and i can put aside as i grow with the business i can take large uh, cash flow uh, profits in a sense and take that and invest it in crypto stocks, whatever that case might be. For me, it would, uh, the only real projects I think, and not even projects, I mean just tokens, it'd be like crypt, uh, BTC because um, one, people lose their, their keys all the time. So inherently there's a deflationary bit about it because people lose their keys and they're no longer recoverable. People send it to the wrong addresses or a burn address and it disappears. The, the ability to mine is being halved with every halving. So the amount of BTC that is in circulation is lowering all the time. So I would, and it's the only decentralized uh, crypto project ever. Uh, all these crypto projects that say they're decentralized is not true um, because of one, like BTC, uh, well not BTC, but like BNB can be shut down any anytime they've done that multiple times i think in the last year ethereum uh, they obviously change the contract quite often 
uh, with upgrades, so it's not truly decentralized. BTC is the only thing that has been decentralized. Um, so there's that. Um, what else? I don't know. It's just me. For me personally, I invest in uh, things that actually create utility. So like I have a car rental company, I invest in real estate. Those are assets that um, one, grow over time uh, through inflation and through providing more um, utility and are scalable. As far as crypto, uh, your investors are your liabilities. And so as, and it's just one big Ponzi, right? Because you need, I mean, we just look at drip, like the amount of people stop buying in, the, the investors are now cashing out and are now liabilities. And with 1% daily, it's just minting more liabilities every single day without any more income coming in. And we've already discussed how in, in a different video, but how 1% daily is just not sustainable and a bunch of other things. But uh, for me personally, I, I've i gone over it in my, my one of my videos, probably not recently, but the ultimate money loop is pretty much the only way I would invest in uh, crypto is by investing into a token and being able to borrow against it. So that would be like Ethereum, um, where I can put it in Aave and borrow against that uh, crypto and then use that uh, borrowed asset to buy another secondary token. I'll um, probably link it down below. If I don't, then you know, go searching for it. I really don't care. Um, it's just only gonna benefit you. It doesn't benefit me whatsoever by um, you, know, you being lazy. If you wanna be lazy, that's on you. Um, doesn't really change my life whatsoever. But like I said, I, well, I don't know if I said this, but um, I only invest in things that you can borrow against and businesses you can borrow against with lines of credit, um, life insurance you can borrow against uh, through against your policy, crypto that is like Aave or BTC you can borrow against through a loan, stocks and other things, stocks you can borrow against with a margin loan. So I only buy assets that you can borrow against because if you can borrow against them, the amount of debt service that is being uh, gained, real estate, you can do a cash out refi. You can, if the debt service is lower than the new investment vehicle that you're investing in, then it's a, it'll tell you when. And so that's what I do is I invest in assets that I can borrow against and then use debt to make more wealth. So that's it guys, um, that's how I invest. And if you wanna learn, uh, just watch my YouTube videos. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll have like a match mine or anything, but we'll see. If you, I don't know, if you guys want me to do some kind of match mine, drop like match mine down below. Um, if don't, if you don't, then I don't really care because it doesn't really matter. Anyways, like and subscribe if you want or don't, it doesn't really matter to me. And I'll see you on the next one, peace.